Hi, in this video, I'm looking at this question here where we've got $250 was invested at 8% per annum and we're asked how long it will take in to the nearest month to earn $86.70 simple interest. So the simple interest means that we're trying to do a simple interest calculation. And the simple interest rule states that our simple interest is calculated by our principal times our rate times our time. And we're after how long it's going to take. So with this time, we're chasing time. So we don't want to have our principal times our rate times our time. So we need to do the opposite of multiply, which is divide, to cancel out the principal and the rate. So we're going to have our simple interest divided by my principal times our rate. And this will give us a rule for time. So now let's have a look at our information we're given. We've got our simple interest here of 86.70. So simple interest is $86.70. We have our principal over here of $250. So we have principal is $250. And we have our rate of 8% per annum, but our rate needs to be a decimal. So we're going to divide that by 100 which gives us a rate of 0.08 for our rule. So now let's put this into our formula. We have simple interest is 86.70 divided by our principal, which is $250 multiplied by our rate of 0.08. And putting that into our calculator, we find that we have a time of 4.335 years. Now we were asked to the nearest month. Some years is not going to do this for us. So we need to work out how many months 0.335 of a year is. So we already know the fact that we have four years. Okay, we have four years. So we want to take that 0.335 of a year so the bit of a year that we know is a decimal and turn that into months. To do that, I'm going to multiply that by 12. So this will tell us how many months we've got. So 0.335 times 12, putting that into our calculator, we find out that that is 4.02 months. We were asked the nearest months, so no, we're not going to worry about that 0.02. So that gives us a total time instead of four years and four months. So we have our four years coming from there and our four months going from that decimal to giving us that. So that's it. To calculate the time of an investment, we divide by our principal and our rate from our simple interest, put in our information, and then convert our years into years and months or just months if you're asked.